big win. Thanks, Ron. Look back at the, the tape. Uh, what did you like and what do you still want to improve on? Uh, I thought our defensive intensity, especially in the second half, first few minutes they got up got some transition baskets, which we had a lot in the first half. But then after that, we really buckled down defensively, our bumps, um, our awareness, communication, uh, and then the effort on the glass. They got some offensive rebounds, but that was one of the strengths. And, and to win that rebounding battle was big. Um, I, I think our, our execution offensively was the best that it's been this year, especially the last 12, 14 minutes. So um, we can continue to get better there. We've got to get some of our younger guys. As you saw, we, we shortened the bench a little bit in the second half, comfortable in, in our changing defenses and how we have to guard in zone. But they'll, they'll get that as uh, we continue to work on it. And, and obviously, experience come game time is key, too, to help with the, that improvement. So um, a lot still in front of us, but proud of the way our guys bounced back, um, you know, especially after you know, losing that first one against Arizona State. What was the key to that? Because, I mean, it'd be easy to say, oh, gee, you know, and, and start struggling and continue well. Um, is there anything particular about that? Or is it just, hey, this team realizes how important it is? Yeah, we didn't make too big a deal of it. You know, we got off to a good start against Arizona State. Give credit to Arizona State. They shot it better than they had. I think we had a little bit to do with that. Uh, and it was just a heightened ur urgency, sense of urgency. We brought them in and practiced Friday. Some guys maybe were a little off, off guard with that, caught, but uh, got after it uh, again on, on Saturday and put in the game plan. And, and I, I think the guys just bought into it and they, they responded. It wasn't, we didn't add anything, we didn't tweak anything. We just challenged them to come out, um, play the way we knew we were capable uh, of playing, and they're the ones that, that set the tone and, and started to believe as that game went on, and then they, they ultimately shut the door. So a lot of credit to the guys' focus. You guys start fast in both the first and second halves like that, and in a way that you hadn't in certain games prior. I mean, how encouraging is that going into this rest of the Pac-12 season, knowing that 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 performance is at least on the table, and you know you. Yeah, I mean, we've never it. gotten off to a bad start. We've never. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I can remember, you know, starting a game where we're down 14 to four or anything like that. We've always gotten out of the, out of the shoot, but. Then it's, you know, a substitution here or there and momentum changes or there's a little bit of fatigue and we, we've had a couple of lulls off offensively and defensively that have cost us at times. But uh, all in all, you know, our guys' focus has been there. We've gotten out of the gate, like I mentioned. Now it's just got to be a, a more sustained effort over 40 minutes, I think. When yeah. was that one of the best performances a group you've had here has played since you've been here? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think the, especially the last eight, ten minutes, um, it was, I know, 49, 49, and then next thing you know, you know, it was a 20-point game. Uh, I, I think our finish at Colorado was very similar. We ended on a 23 or 24 to 5 run. Um, so we've shown here this year that we can, we can make some nice runs, but, um, you know, the big thing, and it comes with de continuing to develop our depth, is sustaining it over the course of the game. This looks like this Pac-12 season is going to be pretty crazy. It's up for grabs. So now you got to go on the road to Washington. Talk about the challenges of this week. Yeah, I mean, uh, you look at our start, and we start on the road at the Mountain Schools, and then you got Arizona, Arizona State at home, then the Washington Schools. It's challenging. But uh, we know Washington's a very good opponent. Um, they're going through a little adversity, having lost uh, Green for a while. Um, they've lost a few games here. But uh, that's one of the tougher places to play in, in, in the Pac-12. And I know. It'll be a bit of a hornet's nest on, on Thursday night, but we'll put a plan in place and, and get on up there and challenge our guys to, you know, come out and play the way we did the last time we were on the road. And again, try to try to do it for 40 minutes and, and however long the game takes and pull one out. We were awfully close last year, and I, I know our veterans are, are hoping to get up there and maybe maybe get one this year. But it's going to be a challenge, but there's, there's no choice. It's a challenge every week. It's a challenge every night. And, um, you know, we're just... You know, excited to be getting out there and having the opportunity to play again. And um, I know our guys will be hungry to represent the you know, Beaver Nation and see what we can make happen. How much did that scout change with Green being out of the lineup? I mean, they, don't, they haven't looked like the same team over the last couple of games. Yeah, they, you know, they, they're playing guys that they haven't played much, you know, and it's, it's tough to make that transition, you know, when you're early in conference play. But Coach Hop does a great job up there, and um, he's got some time now uh, after getting back from that trip to – to get those guys, um, you know, to where they're a little bit more dialed in, and so I know they'll have a great plan for us on on Thursday. But uh, you know, we'll have a lot to do with that, with the way we set the tone, the way we come out and play, and um, you know, hopefully uh, we'll do a nice job there, get off to a good start, and then 
you know, hope, hopefully, uh, play, again, play, the key is playing it over 40 minutes and giving ourselves a chance. Going back to that Arizona game, I mean, are there are there matchups that you kind of circle knowing that that's like a quad one, quad two kind uh, of win? No, I don't get into all that. We just try to win at home and, and sneak some on the road. Your team's kind of been on that win-loss roller coaster these last couple of weeks. What are the keys to kind of gathering that momentum? Try you know, to win more. On? Try to win more. I mean, that's conference play. You look at the table, and it's tough tough every night so it's early we're, we're only a handful of games in so we just got to try to keep building momentum by continuing to develop our our depth getting consistent play out of our vets and continue to grow this thing coach your how about from this side <laughs> how about your offense really found a rhythm in the second half 51 points and the thing i noticed a lot of, a lot of ball screens not always directly into a pick and roll but just a lot of ball screens not to give too much of your strategy away but what is it about the offense and the ball screens that help kind of formulate good looks for you in the second well half. when we the talent we feel we have you know it's an advantage for us if we spread the floor and uh, we do that different ways and then when you have someone as athletic as kyler who can screen out on the floor and get to the rim quickly it puts a lot of pressure on the d um, so those are some of the things that we try to do, ex exploit. We, we really tried to emphasize getting turns of the ball. We got to the second, third side more, more than we had. And, um, you know, you look at your two, two main guys, and Ethan and Trace have 17 assists. They're also our two leading scorers in that game. Um, they, they really stepped it up. And then we got great contributions from the other guys. Alfred Hollins, who you just spoke to, um, you know, really busted out and had a good game for us. Um, Zach Reichel. Uh, was big. Kyler, the last 10 minutes especially, um, you know, and, and then guys like Roman, Peyton, uh, Gianni at different moments gave us a good good little um, bounce, uh, burst of energy off the bench, and, and that's key, and we've got to continue to, to develop those guys so that, you know, we, we've talked about numbers being a strength of ours as far as depth is concerned, um, but, you know, they've, they've got to produce on both ends, and I, I think we're seeing a little bit more consistency there, which helps. Do you notice teams defending, either hedging harder or anything differently against ball screens and pick and roll compared to even when you were coaching in Montana or you're playing, I mean, over a long course of time, when you played personally? Yeah, th th things certainly have evolved, and, and they change from game to game. You know, some, some teams will plug ball screens, some will send you away from them, some will hedge really hard. Um, you've got to be prepared for all of it. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to talk about what, causes issues for us or, or you know but uh, our guys made really good decisions the other day we finished plays and when we finish plays and make baskets when we re rebound when we get back in transition when we make free throws we're a pretty good team I'm, i don't know if it's been asked or not but <clears throat> obviously there was <clears throat> Jeez. take your time you're all right <laughs> obviously there was some urgency going into colorado and arizona how do you bring that to the to the first game just got to challenge challenge our guys let's 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 try to take care of business you know, the first night out and, you know, then, then talk a sweep if you get it. But, uh, you know, we've, we've had good moments in those, those Thursday games. I'm not a big excuse maker. You try at times to say some things to help take a little pressure off of the guys. But, you know, the, the game at Utah, we got off to a good start, didn't sustain it. But first league game on the road and then the Arizona State was your first league game at home. Maybe that had something to do with it. But hopefully now we're a little bit more comfortable in our skin. Uh, we'll have a good 40-minute performance Thursday night. You, you do talk a lot about challenging guys. How often do you honestly challenge them? Because you can only go to that well so often. Can't. Yeah, but they know they know what to expect from our staff. Uh, you know, we're we're always uh, on top of them. We're very intense. We're, we're demanding but fair. Um, and and it's almost like if you try to, as a staff, say, hey, let's let's really sit back and let the guys respond today. It's almost like you see them waiting for you to jump up and, hey, coach, we you know get after us today but there's not a lot of that I mean we're we're pretty focused we feel we've got a pretty good read at times of this team somebody asked me the other day ready to go and, and that's always a funny question when somebody comes by and says you're ready to go today should be you know and this group's a little bit different for me to get a read on whether you know some teams in the past a lot of them I could tell you might have to rattle the, the walls a little bit in the pregame speech to get them going this team, you can't you can't tell if they're ready, and they, they haven't shown us that they've come out flat. I mean, well, again, we've never gotten jumped, knock on wood, you know, to start a game. So I think the focus there is good, but the key is now to to try to sustain it over the course of the game. Do you feel like your guys have been motivated by those conference losses, or as a group, do you just kind of put that behind and, and, and look for? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, they're motivated to to look at the video and learn from it and, and the mistakes that cost us the game. Yeah, we certainly would hope that that's part of it for sure.
Thanks, Coach. Thanks.